Diamond Diamond. One of the best early game objectives and an all-time favorite along with Diamond Pickaxe. Usually people either trade with villagers or strip mine, but in 1.20.2 it will change forever. If you want to get your armor with villager trading, you'll have to spend a couple hours playing and of course, you can use that time to set up other farms. But, as they have increased the amount of diamonds they spawn in the caves, there is an easier way now. That's why I did three speedruns to diamond armor to prove it. Back here. Freaking sniper. Let's get down. I set myself a couple of rules. No strip mining, no nope. villager trading, and no diamond from loot. I can loot structures, but can't take the diamonds. All of the runs started alike gather some basic tools, food and supplies, only to later start looking for a promising cave. In the first run, I got to focus on the diamonds that I found in less than 5 minutes, yeah yeah, less than 5 minutes, that I didn't see the creeper, that... ended the run. I was out in the night and my deathloop senses were tingling, so I decided to start a new one. In the second try, I spent 30 freaking minutes looking for a cave. I even tried the ocean, but no luck, so it was time. I started this run you are watching right now. My luck in this run I would say it was average, took me 10 minutes to find a good cave and the moment I got there… Oh, there you go. Am I safe? There's diamond. 10 minutes for diamond. Then I was lucky enough to find a mineshaft. It's good. But at the same time, good because we see a lot of blocks, but because there are mobs. And I could loot some stuff, like some gapples and not chapel. Hey, look! <laughs> yeah. At this moment, everything was set. I just had to mine around. While, of course, fighting some mobs. What the heck? To do some boots. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm here. What's running? This is big. Huge. Back. Oh, we wait, 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 wait. 13. Everything was going so good, I had almost all my diamond armor and was feeling pretty pretty powerful until... Uh oh. This is my end. Oh wait, no. I hate you. <laughs> I was running the cave in circles, couldn't find any diamonds. Look into the mineshaft again. I hit a few dead ends even. Ow. I was getting really frustrated, but luckily I noticed a little hole I had crossed over at least 10 times. Head down and. <gasps> Four. Oh. Five. Six, seven. Oh, full diamond. I'm even more. Two kidding. Ah. <laughs> And time's up. And we did it, guys. We have full diamond armor. <laughs> Two left, three golden apple, and another apple. All of these in the first day. And you can see the sun is setting. <laughs> because I've been trying to record it for a little bit. But this is the best method to gather the full diamond armor in Minecraft 1.20.2 with the new spawning mechanics for diamonds. Now, how could you make this better? Well, you could stream mine down to high level minus 59 where the most diamonds spawn, or you could mine to minus 53, which is just over the lava lakes, and there you can stream mine for a little bit until you find a big cave like the one I did, because remember, I just went in caves and looked for them, and that can be, you know, it depends on your luck. 
I have a few more videos prepared in store. I'm transforming the Hyrule Citadel in block breaking SMP. And I am also working in some Halloween special with a guide from the block breaking SMP again. <laughs> Anyways, if you have any doubts, feel free to comment in the video down below. And hope you liked it video, leave a like and all that, and subscribe, and see you in the next one frogs, see ya! I'm gonna kill a creeper, or maybe die, I don't know, I'm gonna try! <laughs> Hello creeper man, oh look, a outpost, oh. yeah, I, that does count, I mean I have the gunpowder, so it should count, right, I guess, Oh. Nope. Oh.